Well, former Union Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Congress Party spokesperson Manish Tiwari is taking on BJP General Secretary and Senior Party Leader Rajiv Pratap Rudi. Mr. Rudi and Manish Tiwari, welcome. Now, what are you really complaining about, Mr. Tiwari? The Supreme Court of India has said there need to be compelling reasons for a governor to be removed. So I want to ask you, in the light of all the latest revelations about the loot that was going on in Raj Bhavan, despite your soft corner for Kamla Beniwal that you probably used her as an instrument to target Narendra Modi, wasn't the loot in Raj Bhavan compelling enough a reason for Kamla Beniwal to be sacked? What are you complaining about? Mr. Tiwari, first question to you. Since Mr. Goswami, you have started off by referring to a Supreme Court judgment. May I also remind you that the same Supreme Court judgment, the Constitution Bench judgment, says that a governor cannot be sacked for the simple reason that he or she is not in sync with the party in power at the centre. And number two, uh, the central government has lost confidence in that governor. And if at all the charge is that <coughs> there is an allegation of corruption, then why doesn't the Home Minister come out and say so? Then why is the government chary of making that charge? And then if those were the compelling reasons, those compelling reasons were known to people in Gujarat and those same people in Gujarat then came to Delhi. No, is so it... what was the need to transfer her first to Mizoram no, and then no, sack okay. her from there? No, is so it... therefore, you talk if, about... at all, you, if at all, if at all it is your case or... Uh, it, Allow me to complete. If at all it is your case or it is the case of the government that it is because of alleged corruption that you have sacked Kamla Beniwal, then have the guts and the gumption to say so. And may I complete by saying, Mr. Goswami, that every time a governor travels out of station, he or she has to take the permission of the President of India. So therefore, are you then trying to suggest that the President is complicit in this alleged loot, that he or she allowed the governor to travel out of station? And if that no, is I the case, then would you also care to look across the country now, and see what has been the track now, record of the other 30 governors let, before let, coming let, to a conclusion? Let, let Mr. Rudy respond to you. Mr. Rudy, I think the most important point that Manish Tiwari says is have the guts, have the courage to reveal the reason why she was removed. Well, Don't I'm... ask people to do guesswork on the government's real motive. Mr. Rudy, can please respond can factually. I... Yes. I really do not know why Manish Tiwari is so upset about this particular decision. And I think in all grace, uh, now that they are out of power, they have lost government, and they want some of their people to stick around certain, holding certain constitutional positions. Uh, in politics, uh, it's, a, it's a position people keep coming in, people keep going out. So this much of emotion about a particular governor, and then trying to tell the BJP, sir, give the that reason. Not correct, or Mr. I am coming. I am coming. You have had your. He's, he's explained. Now I will just establish a few sequence which Manish Tiwari wanted to say. You see, in UPA one, when we lost out in 2004, the governor of Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Gujarat, and Goa, which was Vishnu Kant Shastri, Babu Parmanand, Kalashpati Mishra, and Kedar Nathani, were sacked. We, of course, went to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said that unless and until there are compelling reasons and the reasons to be recorded and uh, simply that they are not of, uh, that, that they are out of sync of the political ideology, they should not be sacked. Excellent. Now, Mr. Manish Tiwari says, and then I would like, he's a, he's a very distinguished lawyer and a very good friend of mine. I would like to draw his attention to some more fact that in the, under the Constitution, Article 74 says the President acts on the aid and advice of the Cabinet. That is number one. And Article 156, uh, the President has the power to sack a governor and under Article 155... Why was she sacked? She is... Governor. Now let me, let me come, come to, to the point, That's sir. my last point. Yes, sir. Pe let the people understand what Mr. Manish Tiwari is saying. He asks Let's you a question. I reiterate it. You Martin. haven't come to the point yes. yet. Now, if he says... Now, after she was removed from Gujarat, she was sent to Mizoram and now she has been asked to quit. And many others who were suggested, others who were dignified Sir. people in, 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 in any government, any appointee, they were said that now we request you to quit and they were informally informed they quit. Here is a governor who says I will stick back and here is a Congress party who says we will support you. 
Now this actually displays that whether it is the leader of the opposition in the Lok Sabha or how is she breaking the rules? The post, no, you now, transferred now, her. Now, now no, one minute. To that you transferred her, Mr. Arnab Goswami. No, Mr. Here, here Rudy, governor, come to the point, now, please. Particular, what yes, is the point, reason? Point is, he now, says, do you have the, the guts to reveal the, the reason? Reveal yes. the reason, he says. Reveal the reason? Yeah. Uh, yes, I am revealing the reason. I am revealing the government. Government uh, has yeah. a certain dignity as far as the post of the governor is concerned. Yeah. We would we would say that the now the president is not pleased to keep you in that position, and that is that that is even the president terminates no. anyone. He is also pleased to terminate the services. There are charges against this lady. She is indulged in corruption charges, proven corruption charges in Rajasthan. The Congress found her fit to be occupying this position. The BJP does not find her to be fit to occupy no, this position. That's a very subjective and kind of observation. That is the reason that we have sacked her. May I, now Goswami, they are crying. May I Mr. Goswami, are crying. rebut that straight off? Government. May I rebut that? No, no, I am allowing a rebut, Mr. Rudy. May I rebut that straight Mr. Rudy, I am allowing a rebut. Mr. Tiwari is crying, is rolling out his tears no, no. over a sacking of a governor who the BJP says, finds is corrupt no. and the governor, the go Congress had appointed no, no, a corrupt he says, lady. May no, I? No, may no, 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 no. He, he says, governor. that was no, 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 one second, one, one second. Our may, may I, now, 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 now that Mr. We have sacked a now that Mr. Rudy says, has what what filibustered the enough, Mr. now that Mr. Rudy has filibustered enough without coming to the reason as to why the governor was sacked, may I point out to him that in 2004, when three governors were removed, it is the BJP which went to court. It is Mr. B.P. Singhal who yes. went to court, Mr. Rudy. Did, and you challenged the removal of the governors. I told you You, know, you cannot run with the hare and hunt with the hound. The, the Supreme Court judgment very clearly says that the power cannot so be exercised in a capricious, that unreasonable and in a colorable manner. That is and what number I told two, you. You, you know, if, 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 if at all, the, no, no, if at all, if at all, I if at all, your exactly argument, if at all, your argument yes. is and, that and, the Council of Ministers, of cannot, the, the advice of the Council of Ministers cannot be questioned, the underlying reasons can be questioned. You know, so therefore, therefore, Mr. therefore Tiwari, so, what is the charge so of corruption? Mr. Tiwari, Mr. Manish what is the Mr. charge Tiwari, of corruption? Let us, Manish, let us get one thing very clear that we both of you are. Uh, uh, gentlemen, I, one minute, Mr. Tiwari, Mr. Tiwari, allow me to come in. Mr. Tiwari, allow me to come in. Allow me to come in, Mr. Tiwari, now. If you read Menaka Gandhi, Mr. Tiwari, it is implicit. Mr. Natural justice is implicit. Mr. Tiwari, you have to ask the governor. Mr. Tiwari, you have to ask her that these are the charges of corruption. Mr. Tiwari, please reply. Mr. Tiwari, so. So, Mr. Rudy, will you enlighten us no. as to what gentlemen, are the charges of corruption? Gentlemen, I think I'm one second. Cease yes, the debate for a that. second. One second. Cease the debate I for a second. I will do that. The Can question Mr. goes Mr. out Tiwari to Manish stop Tiwari. And I will do that. Okay, one second. The question Can goes out to Manish and Tiwari. And I will do what are the Mr. charges Tiwari, against the governor? Mr. Well, Tiwari, Mr. why are you going for, for a very long time? Mr. You know, filibustering. Now, please, you know, squarely answer the question that what are the charges of corruption under which the governor of Mizoram was removed yes. by your government? Can I do that? Yes, can I do that? And if you are not happy yeah, by do. the removal of the governor, please go and approach the best possible relief, get the best possible forget, relief. Forget, for, you know, forget our happiness or unhappiness, don't filibuster. Answer the question Mr. squarely. Mr. You, you yes. said that you have removed yes, yes. her on charges of corruption. Are what are those charges of corruption? The governor which was appointed by the... Yes, I am telling you, listen, listen my friend. There are issues against the governor which was appointed by the Congress party. There is a land scam in Rajasthan which has, which has uh, specific details. There is a scam of bill and assets against her, where, where the Gujarat local authorities have said that she, is the, she has, uh, 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 she has uh, done things which she is not supposed to do. There is a travel scam against her and, and, and there is a book scam against her. There is, she has fudged and played around with the local issue. There is an allotment of land scam against her. But this is very usual for the Congress party. The Congress party cannot get... Mr. Rudy, Mr. Rudy, for Mr. Them, Rudy because if I remember correctly, Mr. Tiwari, so, 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 Mr. Tiwari, if I remember correctly, you went to law school. Mr. Tiwari, if I remember correctly, you went to law school. One minute, please, gentlemen. Has an FIR been registered in any of these cases? Forget a charge sheet. Has an FIR been registered in any of these cases? The question goes to 
you, please, gentlemen. Manish Tiwari, take the question. Mr. Tiwari, take the question. Take the question. Take the question. Mr. Tiwari, take the question. 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 Take the
that the Beniwal and other high-ups in Rajasthan government blatantly misused their official position to favor a few influential and highly placed individuals in Jaipur Development Authority. She is accused of a book scam where books which were worth 2 rupees in the market, she purchased it for 20 when she was a revenue minister in Rajasthan Just government. I can continue about the charges against her and all these are proven on record. Mr. Uh, Rajiv Pratap Rudi, Mr. Rajiv Pratap Rudi, but I can understand. Mr. Rajiv Pratap Rudi, from 1998 to, to 2004, okay, Mr. Rudy, he heard there you was now a to government in Rajasthan. You were in the opposition. Now, Did you ever raise this issue when you were in the opposition? Swami, 